With so many budget phones coming nowadays, it feels as though we're moving into a new era for smartphones. We've gotten to this point of diminishing returns where we're seeing specs get better and better, but we're not really seeing the results in terms of day-to-day -day performance. This really led us into office to question how good can a budget phone really be, and can you use it as a daily driver? And as an example, we wanted to see if we could use the Huawei Honor, which is a $200 off-contract phone, as our daily driver. What's up guys, Ron Perdier here from Techno Buffalo, and to keep this experience as honest and as true as possible, I didn't even check the specs of the phone before using it, I just wanted my experience to speak for itself. So first off with the display on the Huawei Honor, we have a 5 inch 1080p display and it's really good, there's not much else to say. The only flaw here is something that Burst pointed out to me, which was that there's a black border around the screen. Now we've seen this on other Huawei phones and we've now seen it on the next bit, Robin. It's not the end of the world and I didn't even notice it until he mentioned it, but then after he mentioned it, I kept seeing it. It was like one of those things. It does have a little bit of a picture in picture effect. It's not quite as immersive as something like an S6 Edge Plus, but it definitely gets the job done. It's also worth noting that with iPhones, your flagship display resolution is still 1080p, so this is definitely on par with that. Moving on to the camera, not much to note here other than the cameras are awesome. 13 megapixel on the back, 5 megapixel on the front, here's how they look. One of my only gripes, and this is a Huawei specific gripe, is their skin. Not really that big of a fan of it. It has a lot of cool features in terms of knuckle swiping, screen splitting, shaking the phone to rearrange your icons, repurposing the fingerprint reader, which was one of my favorite features to bring down the notification bar and such, but none of it is really worth it to me in terms of what they've done with the design. I do not like it at all. That being said, for a more in-depth look at the skin checkout, Burst Mate 8 review linked above. One of the big things you're missing here is Android Marshmallow. Instead, you're running Lollipop, so you're not getting security, permissions, now on tap. Now that's just temporary because we will most likely see the update come, but it's just something to bear in mind. Now sure, as software updates come through and software packages get bigger, you are gonna see the phone bogged down. Now of course this is true with all phones, but because this phone is running lower specs, you're probably going to see it bogged down earlier than you might a bigger flagship like a 6P or a Mate 8. But overall, the phone is fantastic for the price point that it comes in at. So can you use this phone as a daily driver if you were a power user? My answer is absolutely. It got to the point where I had to go to Burst before checking the specs obviously and ask him, what is this phone missing? Where are they cutting the corners? Because I couldn't really find it. I didn't have any lag. The phone was very fast, very quick, very powerful. Got everything I needed done and it looks great all the while doing it. Build quality is fantastic. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm very curious to hear your opinions. Do you like the Honor? Do you not like it? Are there any other budget phones you guys are interested in? Leave us a thumbs up if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button for more awesome content. And I will see you guys or talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.